Welcome back, everybody. I'm Travis with Lynx Academy. Finally, this is what all these lessons have been leading up to. Going and building your image using the Docker file, tagging it, pushing it to a Docker registry, that way others can go and access it. If you don't have a Docker Hub account, go to hub.docker.com, come over here, and then click Sign Up. Follow the instructions to go and complete the setup. Once you're done creating the account, you'll be taken to your homepage. This screen will go and list all the images that you have currently in Docker Hub. Now we're going to be introduced to the Docker image push command. This is the command we'll use to go and push an image to a Docker repository. The way we do this is by supplying the username, in my case it's going to be rivethead42, slash the name of the image and then the tag. The way we get the image name in that format is by using the docker image tag command. Using the latest build as our source image, we will go and create a new tag. We'll go and specify the username slash the image name colon the tag. Start by going into the docker images directory, create a new directory called docker hub, and then go and cd into that directory. Create a new docker file and paste in the instructions. Now I've already gone and covered all the instructions in the lesson using multi-stage builds, so I'm not gonna go over this file. If you are unfamiliar with what is being done here, I do recommend you go and revisit that lesson. Go ahead and save and quit. Clone the weather app code, CD into the source directory, and get the latest commit hash. Drop back down to the root directory of the project. Now we're gonna go and build a local version of our image. Execute a Docker image build, Use the T flag to go and tag your image. We're going to call it Linux Cami Weather App, and then use the commit hash. Also, we'll be passing a build argument to make sure that the version is 1.5. The image build will take longer than usual because we're using multi stage builds. Now we're going to go and tag the image by executing Docker image tag. Supply the name of the image we just built, which is Linux Cami Weather App and then it is tagged with the hash. The target, we need to make sure that we specify the name of our user for Docker Hub. Mine is rivethead 42 The name of the application is gonna be weather app. And then again, we'll be using the commit hash. Now we are ready to go and push the image to Docker Hub. Execute Docker image push, supply your username for Docker Hub slash weather app, and then the hash. Now, I'm already logged into Docker Hub, but if you are not, make sure you execute docker login. You'll be prompted to enter your username and then your password. Now, come back over to Docker Hub. I'm just going to go and refresh, and I should see an update. Here we go. Weather app was updated two minutes ago. If I go and click on it, see we have our tag right here, which is using the commit hash from git, but we don't have latest, so I'm going to go and create a new version of latest. Now we're gonna go and tag our images latest by executing docker image tag, supply your docker hub username slash weather app, use the commit hash. For the target, supply your docker hub username, the name of the application, and then tag it as latest. Now go and push the image, execute docker image push, supply your docker hub username slash weather app, and then colon latest. Back on Docker Hub, if I come over to the weather app and click on it, you can see the latest image that we pushed. To quickly recap, we've gone through the entire life cycle of creating an image. In the Docker file, we use the multi-stage build to make sure that we have the smallest possible image using the minimal amount of layers. We then went and built our image. We made sure to tag it using the commit hash. From there, we went and created a new tag, which we were able to go and push up to Docker Hub. We also took that latest build tagged it as latest, and then again pushed it back up the Docker Hub. That's all I have for this lesson. Go ahead and mark it complete.